इनर्शियल बैलेंस इनर्शियल बैलेंस इज अ डिवाइस यूज फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द इनर्शियल मास ऑफ अ बॉडी इट वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन ऑफ द सिस्टम इट कंसिस ऑफ टू वुडन बोर्ड बी वन एंड बी टू joined by two metallic strips the board b1 is clamped on a table and the board b2 projects out horizontally the board b2 has grooves of different sizes for placing bodies in them to avoid their slipping during motion the board b2 acts as a pan of the balance let us now learn the principle of this balance If m is the total mass of the board B2 and the body in B2 and k is the spring constant of the two metallic strips then the time period t is given by the relation t is equal to 2 pi into root of m by k or t square is equal to 4 pi square into m by k or m is equal to k by 4 pi square into t square that is m varies as t square knowing k and measuring t mass m of a body can be calculated the graphical method is used to calculate the unknown mass when k is not known let us now find a relation between the masses and their time period pull the board horizontally a little and allow it to oscillate simple harmonically record the time period of oscillation in the observation table now place a body of 100 grams in the groove and pull the board b2 horizontally a little to one side and leave it note the time period of oscillation Now repeat the experiment by placing bodies of 200 grams, 300 grams and 500 grams. Plot a graph by taking load along x axis and time period squared along y axis. We obtain a straight line graph showing that mass is directly proportional to period squared. This graph is known as the calibration curve. This graph can be used to calculate the mass of any body placed on the board B2. The unknown mass is kept on the board B2 and the time period of the system is found. Square the time period. Mark the square of this time period on the y axis. Let it be A. Draw a line from A parallel to the x axis such that the line cuts the calibration curve at B. Now draw a line from B parallel to the y axis such that the line cuts the x axis at C. The point C represents the load. To obtain the mass of the body subtract the mass of the pan from the load.